And we're back on Seafoam Island. Matt drowned. He's no longer with us. Uh, I brought Viracies. You may remember him from the Cerulean parts. Hey! Yep, Nick. Hey. Yep. Anyway, Seafoam hasn't changed all that much. No, not at all. Just some block changes, but, you know, and some annoying placement. But otherwise, it's fairly the same. Boring strength puzzles that nobody likes. Um, I'm gonna use Repel throughout this place. I don't even care what the wild Pokemon are. If I had a hazard guess, probably Vaporeon and Blastoise, because we're getting to the point now where the the final evolutions of the starters are gonna be more prominent in the dungeons. Right. Yeah. I know uh, Charizard's gonna be in the Pokemon Mansion. At least vaguely interesting, I suppose. Yeah, of course I already have Charizard, so... So, who gives a shit? Mm -hmm. At this point, wild Pokémon are basically just an obstacle anyway. Yeah. Even in the regular games, there's only, like, a few new things you can catch in most places anyway. That's true. Um, usually by... Christ, usually by the fourth gen in a regular game, I'll usually have everybody that I want to have. Yeah, that's pretty understandable. Um, the rare exception, I think, is if I want Tentacool. Yeah, because usually it takes you a while to get Surf to be able to use that. Yeah. To be and fair, why would you not want to use that? Uh... <laughs> We've seen what Tentacruel can do. And in Gen 1, it's actually even worse because, remember, Special is combined. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, not only is it a good special tank, but it can use Surf and drown your entire team very efficiently. Yeah. Like I said in the last, uh, in either the last episode or the episode before, I don't remember where I said this, but you could slap Ice Beam, Mega Drain, and Toxic and Surf on that thing, and you have a perfect set. I think I have heard that, so I think that was, uh, back in the, uh, the Saffron Gym episode, which was two ago. Yeah. Because if the yeah. Route 19 episode is up yet, I haven't seen it yet. Although I have seen the uh, the version without audio on it, and just oh god, fuck that place. Yeah, I uploaded that this morning. All right. The commentary on that episode is awful. <laughs> <laughs> we, we 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 had nothing to talk about. Oh, so all I did we're was being forced to fight all of these fucking trainers. All I did was the make jokes about. Pokemon. All I did was make jokes and start hilariously pointless conspiracy theories. <laughs> okay. About Slowpoke. <laughs> also, there's just a bunch of fucking signposts in here. That's like the only way you can tell anyone has ever been here, apparently. Yeah. And again, who the fuck would want to come to this place? Oh, God. I want to know how the hell Blaine turned it into a gym. Like That's, that's a good question. Also, I'm pretty sure it was way smaller than this in future games for some reason. But Well, at least, again, in I... the, at least in the original Gold and Silver version, but in yeah. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they did actually add a Seafoam Island's dungeon underneath. Right. Of course, it still wasn't as bad as this version. I would say nothing can be as bad, but that's not quite true. There's a bunch of things, in even in this game, that are as shitty or worse than this. Oh, this Seafoam Islands is definitely not the worst dungeon in this particular hack. Yeah. Uh, oh god, not, not even just in this particular hack. In this particular hack, Rock Tunnel is definitely the worst. Oh god, fuck Rock Tunnel. And the, and the fact that the guy actually expected you to do it blind. Literally blind. What an asshole. Although I guess, you know, that is sort of, you know, it's a Kaizo hack, so it's gotta fuck you around a little bit. Unknown Dungeon is pretty bad, but unfortunately, we won't be showing that off in this playthrough. Aww. Um, I never recorded it, and then when I switched computers, I lost everything, obviously. 
and you really don't want to go through all of this just so you can do fucking Unknown Dungeon again. Exactly. I, I can dig it. Unknown Dungeon and Power Plant, because I actually forgot that the Power Plant existed. Oh. So, we will only be seeing two of the legendary birds in the wild. Note that phrase, in the wild. Oh, Jesus. I... <laughs> I don't think I like where this is going. Uh. Anyway, yeah. More boulders. <laughs> and it's the two legendary birds that I think I found the least use for, sadly. And Actually, I always liked Articuno. Um, I know it's got a four times weakness to rock, and that's kind of yeah. shitty. But anyway, speaking of Articuno... Here it is! So... I always like that weird cry that it made. It just sounded kind of... Majestic. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, it's Articuno. It's level 50 and you're packing much. level 70 plus. Yeah, we're killing. This thing is gonna get fucking wrecked. We came all the way to Seafoam Islands to kill Articuno. I'm not catching any of the legendary birds. Fuck them. <laughs> I'm with you there. Normally in a Let's Play, you would catch them just because it's kind of the obligatory thing to do. No. Not, not nope, here. Nope, nope. It's gonna murder their asses here. Yep. Oh, poor Moltres, when he, when it's time for him. <laughs> oh, poor Moltres. Rocks in the face? Rocks in the face. Looking forward to it already. Anyway, it's time to get the hell out of this place, because the only reason you come here is, one, to catch Articuno, but if you're not here for Articuno, you come here to leave. That's essentially the only reason. <laughs> you come through here to get the Cinnabar. You come here to leave. Seems good to me. Can you not surf south from Pallet now, or...? You can, but the, the way I always go, I just make the complete circle. Just force a habit, alright. Yeah. Of course, I'm sure the hacker's going to find a way to fuck with me for that one. We're just gonna put this little ridge here that you can't walk over from that direction. This is where I, uh, I always kind of get lost trying to find the way out of Seafoam. That, even in the original. Yeah, this place is, uh... Oh, and I actually found it kind of easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, we're out of Seafoam. Heck yeah. Yep. And this is Route 20, I think. I think so. I'm never on vacation. And I'm, I'm just going to assume right now that this is basically Route 19 Redux. Pretty much. Oh, you sad little jazz hands girl. How I'm going to enjoy zapping... Oh, wow, it actually survived. Of course, a super potion ain't going to help you. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Just let me get you the kill without taking any extra damage. Thanks, game. I'll gladly accept that! Oh, hey, a Vileplume. I actually like Vileplume. Vileplume's not bad, I just don't really get to use it very much. It's not bad in single player, I should I should be more specific. It's not the best for for competitive. Yeah. Um, there are definitely better... Oh, they're definitely better even in a single player run, but if you aren't using Venusaur, I, I can't say Vileplume is a bad option. I used it in Fire Red. Uh, not my playthrough on the channel, but one of the times I replayed the game. I used uh, Vileplume, and it served me pretty well. I may have to try it next time I play, uh, well, any game I can actually get it in. Also, yeah, Paralyzed Charizard, not fun to use. Now I have to break this Wigglytuff's legs. <laughs> that, that's the official, like, phrasing of what Earthquake does. 
it breaks. That, that works for me because that pretty much is uh, that's pretty accurate. That's about what would happen. Also, jazz hands. Is it is it jazz hands or is it a botched version of raising your hands up and saying "Don't shoot"? I'm gonna go with jazz hands personally, but that could be wrong. Ah, uh, those max elixirs. Either that, or is it like that one episode of The Simpsons? I'm pushing air, and if you happen to be get in the way of my pushing, it's your own fault. <laughs> Oh my god, this really is Route 19. <laughs> and again, why, why should I expect anything less? Yeah. Look, look at this. This is just a mess. Yeah. Also, I think this is the first time in the history of recorded Pokemon series that you actually hear the Surf theme for more than two seconds. Yeah, good point, because usually you're just getting mobbed by fucking tentacles. Yeah. It's like, Beauty they know you enter the water, and suddenly they just all converge on you. Also, I like how... how they throw fire Pokemon on all the trainers to throw you off. Yeah, that's a little bit, uh... Well, I guess at least it makes the teams more interesting. You want to play the digging game, huh? Well, I know the champion of the digging game. But he doesn't like you, so he's breaking your legs. <laughs> Forget about the digging, we're just gonna do this the fast way. And that Arcanine was never seen again without a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, Tangela. Uh, Almost, uh... That's something you don't see a lot. For good reason. <laughs> Especially with that sprite. Oh, jeez. Well, not even that! A cube with legs. I'm not even talking the sprite, I'm just talking about the fact that Tangela sucks. It's true. What does it even have going for it? Like, In Gen 4, it can evolve into Tangrowth. That's pretty much... Yeah, that's it. The only good thing about Tangela in Gen 1 is that it knows rap. Yeah. And that'll, uh, that'll set off the elevator music, but <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, look, one damage every turn for a hundred turns. Great. Oh, hey, a Cloister. That's actually respectable. And actually vaguely normal for this round, at least by typing. Yeah. Hey, Steve Grudel level 81. Oh, it's a Rapidash. Oh, God. The guy from the Pokemon Fan Club is back. Oh, no. That's okay. I'll save this Rapidash. Save it by drowning it. Yep. It'll probably be happier that way. Well, unless the guy's a necrophiliac, but... Well, yeah, that's true. And a Venusaur. Just because. But you know what? Freezing your ways. And... Oh, not quite a one hit. Oh, oh god damn it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that instant wake up. Nice. Turtle soup not taking your shit. <laughs> Turtle Soup not giving a fuck. <laughs> just wakes up and... Okay, it takes a turn, but then it just shoots another fucking laser at it. I hate this row. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's been well established. Yeah, it's kind of a... Uh, oh, rightly so, rightly so. Also, this guy rode his bird Pokemon out to the middle of fuck nowhere. What's wrong with him? Also, he has... Oh, dinner! <laughs> Excellent. Actually, Thanksgiving happened already, but, uh... Eh, it's okay. Yeah. 
Although, hey, some people eat turkey on Christmas. That's true. I don't, but some people do. And then he has Porygon, which eh, almost makes sense. I guess it kind of looks like a duck. A digital duck. Yep. And it just got circuits fried, so eh. Oh, no this sad I... man. This sad man. He can't do anything to you. Although I will admit, for some reason, I've always had this weird soft spot for Dodrio. No, I like Dodrio. Um, I never use it because I usually have Firo, but Dodrio yeah, is it's... technically the better of the three birds. Yeah. And then they gave Firo Drill Run in the fifth generation games just to, you know, give it an interesting move set. Well, Drill Run with Sniper. Oh, yeah. That'll, that'll fuck people up well and proper. I guess at least Golduck isn't a flying type, but it still eats Thunderbolts like a thing that it's eats Thunderbolts. It's still technically a bird. Yeah. He didn't say flying type, he said his bird Pokemon, although Charizard's not a bird, so... And neither is Aerodactyl. Yeah, neither is Aerodactyl. It still goes down to a Thunderbolt! Yep. A critical hit- oh man. That may have been slightly unnecessary, but it got the job done nice and well. Well, we're in the land of unnecessary, so it works. That's true. That's, that's a good description of what's going on over here. That's a good description of this entire hack. The land of unnecessary. Oh yeah, let's go through it. Let's go through a changed rock tunnel with no flash. <laughs> Fuck. Not just a changed rock tunnel, a rock tunnel that... At least in the original rock tunnel, you could still use the surroundings, even in the dark, to get a good idea of where you are. In the new version of Rock Tunnel in this game, one wrong move and you are completely stuck. If you don't even, even if you don't have like an escape rope or anything. Yeah. So yeah. I don't feel bad using Flash in there. Also, also that guy only had one Pokemon in this. <laughs> yeah, let's just make this job easier, guys. Why would you swim here from Cinnabar Island? Yeah, what's wrong with the- What is wrong with some of these trainers? Aside from, like, everything, but... Actually, you know what? I know a new- a new, uh, identity for Jazz Hands. She's a TSA agent. <laughs> I like it. She's trying to give a proper body inspection. But Steve is protecting me from her. It works for me. <laughs> also, Damn don't get on the water route. I just, I'm gonna take a moment to find that amuse. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. before Flareon gets completely fucking wrecked. Damn it! Does not like to be touched inappropriately. I don't blame him. Yeah! But I mean, look at this. This is just absurd. The fuck is the point? <laughs> the only purpose for designing uh, it like this is to be obnoxious. There's no other reason. There's nothing difficult yeah. about this. It's, oh, I gotta take the longest possible path. Whoa, whoa. And look at this. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck oh, that! Shit. Walk through walls! <laughs> I am not going all the way back to Seafoam Island just to get cut. That, that, that is just like the ultimate just And yeah, basically. Yeah, they did the same thing for here too. You gotta walk through walls just to come on here. Look at this! This is ridiculous! Man, it looks- it, it almost is starting to look like maybe that volcanic eruption wasn't so bad. Yeah. And look, they block you from going to the Pokemon Center, too. Jesus. By the way, next time, 
We will be going to the Pokemon Mansion. How deranged is that going to be? Oh, Lord. I have a bad feeling about this already. Yeah, I do too, but for different reasons. Anyway, next time, we'll be doing the Pokemon Mansion, as I said. Yeah. Gotta surf up here first. Because that's Just because fuck, fuck you, well. basically. But next time, Pokemon Mansion. Till then, take care. See you next time.